In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. When Brockton is home, everything is within reach. Well, welcome to this beautiful morning. I only take credit for the weather when it's sunny and warm, so whoever I delegated weather to today didn't do a very good job. Uh, but it certainly doesn't dampen everyone's spirits uh, as we uh, gather today to uh, remember Jimmy and what better place to do that than right here. And uh, we're going to have a proclamation and unveiling of a couple of new signs. Uh, but first, we do have a few folks that would like to share a few words with you. Um, I'd like to uh, open up our program uh, by introducing Father Michael. So Father Michael Kouramidis is from the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church here in Brockton, and he'll be up to do the invocation, invocation in just a moment. Uh, but Father is fairly new to Brockton, so I wanted to take a, a moment just to introduce him. He's been at the church for just about six months now. Uh, he's been very warmly welcomed by not just his parishioners, but by the entire community here in Brockton. And um, one of the things that Father, that I know is making Father an instant favorite here in the city, is although he's a New Yorker, he's oh, oh, from Indiana. Well, okay, all right, all right. All right. No, your, pre your previous parish was in New York. I'm sorry. I'm not far off. His previous, his previous parish was in New York, uh, but he's an avid Red Sox fan, so he's been cheering for the Sox tonight. So try to talk that, Father. Father Michael Kermatis with our morning's invocation. Father. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, we thank you, Lord, for this day and for the blessings that we anticipate. We thank you, Lord, for your servant, Jim, who offered so much to his church, his community, to his family, to his friends. A son of the island of Crete, the historic and powerful island of Crete, who St. Paul visited during his travels to meet with his friend, St. Titus. O oh Lord, we ask you always to bless Jimmy's family and friends and all here gathered. We thank you, O oh Lord, for our mayor. We ask you, O oh Lord, to continue to give him strength and the wisdom of Solomon and David. Again, Lord, we thank you for your servant, Jim. Grant him rest, O oh Lord, amongst the holies in the warmth and the glory of your holy resurrection. Again, Lord, we thank you for all you've given us. And this we pray in your holy name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless all. God rest his name. And Mr. Mayor, if you, if you need good weather, call me. Okay. <laughs> our festival. We had great yeah, weather right. during our that's festival. Right. That's what I'm in charge of. I don't think anyone would doubt, Father, between you and I, you're a little bit closer to God. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to welcome Sophia and all of Jimmy's family that's here today, along with the friends of the family. Um, this is a very special day for the city of Brockton, as it is uh, James, Jimmy Labreka's day here, we'll proclaim in just a few moments. Uh, but today would not have happened if not for a family friend, Brian Caravan, who you know, has worked so hard to pull this all together today. So I want to give Brian a chance to come up and say a few words.
bear with me. Um, I want to thank the mayor. Without him, none of this would have happened. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Him and his office has done everything for me. They bent over backwards. Uh, not just for me, but they know Jimmy. They've, they've sat here at the counter. They've eaten here. You know, we're all Brocktonians, so we all do pretty much the same thing. So when I went, when I asked the mayor about it, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, he said, "Yeah, we got to get it done." And then the ball got rolling, small snowball in the beginning, and then you know we had to roll up to a big snowman to get it done. Uh, I want to thank Senator Mike Brady for being thank you, Senator, and also. Final thanks to Judge Mark Lawton, who will help me greatly. Um, I'm just going to tell a little story the first time I met Jimmy. Um, back in October 30th, 1977, it was the first day me and my family moved to the city of Brockton. And we drove by here in, in a big U-Haul, in a big station wagon with 11 kids and two parents. Uh, we got down by the dog pound where we had a house, and it got to be around lunchtime. And my mother told my brother Tommy, my, one of my older brothers, and me to go to the pizza place that we passed and get some pizzas and sandwiches for all the all the rest of our work. So Tommy and I, we headed out on our journey up here, and I get to the door, and. We're, we're ordering, we got a big list, you can imagine. You know, who wants what, no mayonnaise, no cheese, everything. And Jimmy asked me, do I want cheese on my tuna? And I looked at him, and I said, cheese on tuna? Now, he told me I'd talk funny. I was 10 years old. <laughs> I said, he talked funny. <laughs> and he had this big, curly mustache, right? And he explained to me that cheese on tuna in the oven was a grinder. Now, coming from South Boston, we didn't have grinders. We had spuckies. We didn't put them in the oven. And, you know, from that day forward, I mean, Jimmy wasn't just my friend. He was my mentor. I mean, I was 10, 11, 12, 15, 17, 20. And I'd be up here at least three days a week, minimum, through my younger years, my teenage years. When I got married, my wife and I would come up here three days a week. Uh, my kids come up here now three days a week, minimal. Minimal. It's, it's crazy, am I right? Um, and, but, but when I come up here, I see the same people over and over again, Joukowsky, everybody, sitting at the counter. It's coming to some place, all they need here is a fireplace, and you feel like you're at home. Put your slippers on, and it's comfortable. It's the best word I can say. It's well, the food's good, but the atmosphere is very comfortable. You feel secure here. You feel safe here. You feel at home. <coughs> you know, Sophia comes around the corner. Men, girls, you're at home. That's all I can say. And then, you know, the last thing I have to say is I miss my friend. There's a hole in my heart. It really is. You know, Jimmy was my friend, and I miss him. And I know he's home now, and blessed. You know, thank you for listening. Thank you for coming. That was a great job, Brian. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, you know, Brian really hit on some themes, I'm sure, common to many, many people. I moved to Brockton in 86 and lived here on the east side. And 
lived here on the east side for over 30 years. And uh, we very quickly found Supreme also, and, and uh, proud to have been a regular customer here all those years. And uh, Jimmy was just a very special guy, and over the years raising my kids here on the east side, you know, they played Little League Baseball at Downey, and I was active there, and, you know, Jimmy was a sponsor every year, and we would come over and see him for his donation and bring him his photo of his team that he sponsored, and he did the same thing for East Side Improvement Association, and really any youth group here in the city that came in looking for support from Jimmy always found it. And uh, this story, the, the story of the Lambrakis family and Jimmy in this business, really epitomizes what the city of Brockton is all about. We're a city of immigrants, we're a city of people who create their own opportunity when they arrive. We're a city of good families and hardworking people. And I think that's what this business behind me represents. It, it represents decades of hard work by a family led by Jimmy who came here, worked hard, became a part of the fabric of the city, of our community was always willing to give back and has established clearly that this business that is still here and will continue to be here for a very long time. So I, I think it is important that today that, that the city do recognize uh, Jimmy. It's, it's hard to believe that he's been gone for a couple of years. Um, it still doesn't seem quite right when you come in and don't see Jimmy, but at the same time I think that you still feel his presence when you come in. I don't think that will change. Uh, so at this time, representing the family, I'd like to invite Manny to come up and say a few words on behalf of the Lembrakis family. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Look, I could talk all day about my father and what he's done, but um, <laughs> probably he was Mr. Crane, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, uh, we worked here together for pretty much all my life, and um, he taught everybody so many lessons. We used to fight every day. We used to fight. <laughs> Five minutes later, we'd be talking about the Patriots. <laughs> That's what it was. But, um... This day is so important to us because we miss him every day. We love him. Thank you all for coming out. The city of Brockton, our employees, Brian, our customers, you have all been great. Thank you so much. That's all. Now, we, we do have a couple of beautiful signs that we're going to ask the family to unveil in just a moment. Uh, but I do want to, on behalf of the city, recognize today officially. So we've, I've issued a proclamation today from the city of Brockton that reads as follows. Well, you haven't even heard it yet, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you're now not disappointed that Brian's applauding before I've even read it. The proclamation reads, Whereas the work ethic and entrepreneurial spirit of James Jimmy Lembrakis is a perfect illustration of the American dream and the Brockton dream, and whereas coming to the United States from Greece in his 20s, Jimmy Lembrakis built a business in a living for himself through friendly customer service, delicious pizza, and the best steak and cheese sub in the city. I put that part in. <laughs> Whereas the loyalty shown by customers of Supreme House of Pizza is indicative of not just people who wanted to grab a quick bite to eat, but by people who felt a special connection to the establishment they were dining at and its owner, Jimmy Lebrakis. And whereas the city of Brockton and its residents have benefited greatly from the meals and experiences they've shared at Supreme House of Pizza and from the generosity of Mr. Lebrakis, who was a frequent contributor to youth activities, including sponsoring for many, many years both the Downey Little League and the Eastside Improvement Association. And whereas it is appropriate to promote and recognize the example that Jimmy Lambrakis set building his small business into the beloved institution that it is today here in the city of Brockton, 
Now, therefore, I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim today, October 13th, 2018, as James Jimmy Lembrakis Day in the city of Brockton. This is signed and sealed and Sophie out for you to come up. I'll present this to you. And I'm expecting you'll find a place in the wall inside for this somewhere. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> Bottom's already off. How's that? No. Sophia, take a photo, please. In anticipation of the City of Brockton's new trash and recycling program, the office of Mayor Bill Carpenter has teamed up the city with the Recycle Coach app, which is easily downloadable in Google Play and in the Apple App Store on most mobile devices. Once you have the app downloaded onto your device, type in and select Brockton, Massachusetts as your location. A page with our city seal will pop up and click Confirm to continue. Right now, a notice should pop up alerting you of the city's new trash and recycling program. Click OK to acknowledge that and then choose from one of eight languages to be your preferred language while using this app. Once you have done that, enter your street name so that we can correctly keep you up to speed with notifications about trash and recycling pickup in your neighborhood. A screen will appear asking if you would like to be reminded about upcoming collections and or events. If you choose to click yes, you'll have the option for reminders to be sent to your phone for trash pickup, recycling pickup, yard waste collection, Christmas tree collections, holiday trash schedules, and more. You can even set how far in advance you want the notification to be sent to you. From the homepage of the Recycle Coach app, one of the most commonly used features is the My Schedule feature. If you click on My Schedule, the app will show you what is going on in your neighborhood for trash and recycle pickup on any given week. Notice how on this calendar, it shows that your trash is being picked up every week, your recycling is being picked up every other week, and on one week during this month, your trash will be picked up a day later than normal due to a holiday schedule. If we jump ahead a month, the schedule also tells us what days yard waste will be picked up. The Recycle Coach app, just another way the city of Brockton is using technology to connect with its residents. We're the largest privately held office supplier in the country right now, and it's coming out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Kenworth has had a good experience in Brockton. The big selling point for Kenworth going to Brockton was easy highway access and a city that would be easy to work with to get a nicely renovated facility up and running quickly. This is home. We love where we're at right now. And why would anybody not want to come to Brockton and go out there and try to shoot for the same kind of dreams with their company? Business investments are helping to build a new Brockton. Hi, I'm Brockton Mayor Bill Carpenter. Baseball season has arrived and that means pothole season is with us now too. We're asking you for your help in reporting potholes to the city of Brockton using one of two easy to use methods. The Mayor's Pothole Hotline is now open at 508-897-1306, 508-897-1306, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Just call and leave us a voicemail with the exact location of the pothole, including a street address, to allow us to get our DPW crews out to make the repairs to the road as soon as possible. Or you can use our C Click Fix app to report potholes to the City of Brockton 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The C Click Fix app is a free download to most Android and iPhone devices. You can also locate the C Click Fix app on our city website at brockton.ma.us. Just tell us where the problem is, select pothole as the category. You can even upload a photo if you'd like. The Mayor's Pothole Hotline or the C-Click Fix app. Two convenient ways to let us know exactly where those potholes are. We will get our DPW highway crews out to fix them as soon as possible. 
The office of Mayor Bill Carpenter has announced a variety of new ways residents can submit tips anonymously and communicate with neighbors via telephone, internet, texting, and apps that are available on your cell phone. If you want to contact the Brockton Police Department anonymously, you can do so directly by calling them anytime at their tip line, 508-941-0244. You can also send a text to CRIMES or 274-637. Text Brockton at the beginning of the text, followed by the violation you see that you want to report. These features are available to anyone with access to a phone, cell phone, or computer with internet access, and all of this information can be found on the Brockton Police Department's official website at brocktonpolice.com. Outside of directly contacting the Brockton PD via call, text, or online message, there are a few new apps you can download to your smart and iPhones to report crimes and violations you see anonymously. My PD is an app you can download to your phone where you can submit a tip, ask the Brockton police a question, or even commend an officer for doing a good job. You just click on what you want to do and fill out the forms provided electronically. The forms allow you to get as detailed as you'd like while submitting a report to best give the Brockton PD the opportunity to respond to your issue. You can also get My PD without downloading the app at mypolicedepartment.org slash Brockton dash police dash department and fill out the information online just as you would the app on your phone. There's also Nextdoor an app and website at nextdoor.com that is a private social network for you, your neighbors, and your community. It's an easy way for you and your neighbors to communicate. You can use this to talk to neighbors about anything community related, tracking down a trustworthy babysitter, asking for help looking for a lost pet, and finding a reputable mechanic to work in your car. Quickly report a neighborhood break-in, organize a neighborhood watch group, do it all with the Nextdoor app. And last but not least, see Click Fix. This is a feature that gained popularity following our most recent winter as a way for residents to report potholes on city streets that needed to be filled. However, it's much more than a resource to report potholes. You can download the see Click Fix app on your phone or go to the City of Brockton's official website at brockton.ma.us and click the see Click Fix button on the left-hand side of the page. You can report non-emergency issues to the City of Brockton using this app. Everything from abandoned property, to traffic signal issues, to graffiti, to loose animals, to snow removal. You'll receive an email updating you on the status. These are just some of the new ways the City of Brockton is introducing technology to connect with its residents and make solving problems easier. And remember, the City of Brockton is online 24-7 at its official website, brockton.ma.us.